Hi, my name is Joe Clay, and today I want to teach you guys how to make designs on your phone. And it's really simple. I know a lot of people when they start merch, they um, that's the main thing. They don't know how to make designs, and which is fine. But um, I found an easy way to make designs with your phone, and it's really simple. And you can make awesome designs and great looking professional designs that you can sell on merch or any print on demand site and it, I'm going to show you the simplest and the easiest way that anyone can do it and so um, I hope you'll stick with me during this course and you will just watch me and learn learn that and you'll be by the end of the course you will be able to make some great designs and so um, a lot of these will be text designs but a lot of them we will add some elements into them so um, you can see how they work together but um, look, check out these examples that I'm about to show you, and I hope to see you inside. I'm going to be showing you the before pictures and then the after pictures. And this first one is just how how I how I would normally start out usually before I change it. But then I started figuring things out and figuring how graphic designers make their designs. And this is the after. And so this is I mean your designs can be great. I mean, before I was really simple because I didn't know, but I always wanted the effect that graphic designer, professional graphic designers, the spin they put on it, the background, the to make it pop out more, just to make it look more like kind of three dimensional. And I always liked that. Before um, I didn't know, you know, I'd pick fonts. I think I would just pick cool fonts. I think that was it. And I would never really do anything. Maybe I'd add an outline to it. But it wasn't until I figured out a way to do it the way graphic designers do it. And after showing some of these designs to my graphic designer friends, man, they were amazed at um, how I did it. But look, this was this was the after, but let me show you the before. And you'll see the difference. And so in this course, this is what we're going to be working on. So I'm going to take you from here to the before to the afters. All right, let's get started. Okay, to get started, these are the, going to be the apps that you're going to need and um, some of the fonts. I'll show you the fonts where to get them. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Vintage Design font. This is the main one that I use to create all my designs. The other, and then um, there's another app we're going to use to resize it. It's called the Over App. And there are two other apps that I use for more for inspiration, um, which I will go back and finish it which I will go back into vintage design and I will make those um, designs okay but the first is the vintage design this is it right here um, it costs $5.99 um, it, it kind of shows you a little bit of what it does here but um, in vintage design I will talk more about it but this is the app that you need to get for that um, the next app that you will need to get is the over app the over app um, is there is a there is a free version of this app and so um, there is also a, I think it's a lifetime not a lifetime app but it's a subscription and you do not need that you do not need that you can get it but you you don't need it I don't even have it um, because I just use the over app to resize my designs which I have made in vintage design and so I have made so many shirts just personally for me that I purchased um, by making designs in the vintage design, up, resizing in the overwrap and uploading to merch. So, and then um, let me go on to the, the other two. Um, the next one is gonna be called the Word Swag app. And this one's uh, $4.99. Again, this app is more for inspiration. I don't, um, I use it, I find it, it has a lot of things. I'll show you everything that it does when we talk about the Word Swag app. But this is another app you could possibly get. It's for inspiration. It shows you different ways how you can use topography. You just type in your sentence, whatever you want, um, and it changes the way the, the wording is formatted in to, uh, cool topography ways. And so um, let me let me go to uh, the next one, which is called Typorama. Now, Typorama is another one of these things that you can kind of see what it does here. Um, let me kind of scroll through it and you can type in your words and it'll make a design for you and what I do you since you can't use these designs according to their um, their licensing and everything in their legal um, aspect you can't use it but you can use their ideas 
Um, it might show you how, where to put a font or how to put a, a graphic, how to put a word. And so you can use that and then go back and create it yourself in the Vintage Design app. So those are the four apps that we're going to be using. The next um, website we're going to be using is defont.com. Now, defont.com is uh, a place where you can get 100% um, free fonts that you can use for your use for your store and make for your all your merch. So we're going to be using defont.com. Another website I like to use for ideas um, is called the creativeblog.com. And so um, I'm gonna we're gonna go through here and we'll pick we'll get these uh, make sure you guys get these 70 best free fonts for designers because all the fonts that we're going to get from Defont and all the fonts we're going to get here, they're all going to be free. That and we're going to be able to. I'm going to show you how to import them um, into your email and then um, on your phone, and we're going to email them to ourselves, and then we'll be able to um, upload them to Vintage Design. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that um, during this video. So stay tuned, and we will start covering each of these apps and each of these websites. All right, we're going to be start working right here from defont.com, and um, I'm going to show you everything, what to do, and I'm going to be showing you on my phone as well as the, so you'll see it on the screen because um, this is the I believe this is the easiest way um, to get the apps. If you don't want to do it this way, um, you can do this on your computer where you can um, download the font to your computer, and then you can email it to yourself and open up there in your phone and I will show you that method also but let's start here which I think is the easier method so we'll zoom in just so we can see it better and we'll go we'll select new fonts this is on defont.com so this is new fonts and then we'll scroll in again and what we're looking for is this more options button right here so more options and then we want to scroll over and we want 100 percent free we just want the free ones now so we'll push submit right there Okay, now this list, this whole list right here, they are all 100% free, as you can see over here on the side right here. 100% free, 100% free. They are all 100% free. Now, all you have to do, it's really simple. Say we want this one, this um, Razon script font. Um, all we have to do is come over here to download. We'll download it. And then mine is already set to open a vintage logo. It's already just set up that way. Um, so what could, what you can do, you can come over here and you can, it'll have all the ones you need. And all you do is need to select it if it's not already selected. And then once you push so, <laughs> select the one you want, it automatically does it for you. Look, as you can see, as look, you typed in uh, beer. <laughs> I typed in beer earlier, but, um, I was just testing it out. Here we go. Apps course. So let's let's find that font right now. It is called Razon Script. There it is right there. And there it is right there. There are two of them. So look how simple that was. That was very easy. So let's let's go try that one more time. So we'll go out here, we'll come over here, and we'll go to um defont.com and let's see, we'll select Let's go down here and find something really neat. Um, let's see here. There's look. There's 21 um, different, you know, folders of this. So you can go in here and select any one you want. So let's select this one. This uh, Laviette. So again, we'll come over here to download, and we'll push open in vintage mode. And then there, uh, it's already set Laviette. So we'll go. We'll go find it. Let's see if it's in the beginning. Laviette. There it is right there. And so there's the font for us. And it is that simple. So I would suggest doing it on your phone. Since you're already on your phone, we're going to be making everything on our phone. So that's how you do it. That's the step. The next step, I'll show you how you can um, do it from the computer and how you can do it through your email and then how you can select it here So that'll be the next video. Okay Now I'm going to show you how you can go to defont.com on your computer and how you can download it And then how you need to email it to yourself and upload it to your phone It's really simple to do you can it's not as simple as doing it just from your phone But you can do it from your computer 
Um, if you're worried about maybe it's looking too small on your phone, um, you can check it out here. Okay, so what you do, we'll get the Razon um, script again. You'll just go to download. And then once it's downloaded, you'll um, go to your inbox and then you'll just find the folder. You'll go to um, uh, just, and what, what you're going to do, you're going to email it to yourself. So I'm email it to merchantuniversity at gmail.com. I put Razon font. I found it. I uploaded it right here. And then I'm going to send it to myself. So after you send it to yourself is when um, then you'll uh, go to your phone, you'll open your email, and I'll show you the next step from there. Okay, now that we email it to ourselves, we open up our email, and then you'll see it right here. And so we are going to um, select it, the Rosaton, and then on the top left, um, the Razon, on the top, on the bottom left, there you'll see this little arrow here. You'll select that, and then you'll just import, select import with the vintage logo, and it is imported for us already right there. And so um, as we'll see, it is... Let's see here. There it is right there for us. And so we already have it. So it is that simple and that easy to get it from your computer to your phone, to email it to yourself, and to upload it so you'll have it um, to use from there. So that's how you do that. Okay, next we're going to upload some graphics. And we're going to email them to us on in our phone, and we're going to upload them. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to put them in the over app. So I'm just going to select one of these. I already selected the black one, the um, kind of a distressed one, but I'm going to select just a solid one right now. And then so after it uploads, all you'll do is send it, and you'll send it to your phone, and I'll show you how to open it up and how to put it in um, the um, vintage design and how you can work with it there. Okay, now that we sent it to our um, email, we open this up on our phone, Go to our email, we see the graphic, we'll select it, and then it'll come up right there, and then the top arrow, you'll push that one, and you'll save image, so it saves it, and then you will go to the Vintage Design app, and then you will select a plus button, because we want a new, a new um, thing to select from, so we'll select that, we'll select um, Decoration, then we'll say select photo library and then we'll select our um, our graphic so it'll pop up right there and then we'll push done and then so it'll come up right here and then we can make it big you know we can we'll resize it in a little bit but we can we can start off with it right there like that and then there we go we're ready to work on it what's next um so that's all you have to do, and then um, I'll show you what to do with it in a little bit in the next couple of videos. Thank you. All right, we're going to start um, covering all the features of the apps right now, and we are going to start off with the Word Swag app. And I really like the Word Swag app for all the topography that it has. So what you'll do is you'll select the bottom right-hand corner, this button, and then we'll select the transparent background, and then you'll just say OK. And then um, you can click on this button right here. And just for an example, we're going to use one of these quotes that comes with it. Do not use any of these quotes for any designs. Um, they're just, uh, I'm just using them as an example. So we're going to select, we're going to start there and select that one. But um, I'm going to show you here, here on the bottom of the screen, you'll see all these different categories. This one is September issue. This one says simply good. This one says truth and wisdom. As you'll see, it's changing the font style and the and it's changing the, the topography. And so we'll just kind of flip through them here and you can see you know how it can be used. But I use this is more for inspiration. Because I don't have the license to all these fonts, but I want to use it for the inspiration and the look. Because I want to find certain looks that I want to go. Um, with my designs so you can go through all of these right here and there are a lot of them you can go through and you can select and see how how um, things are made and um, you can what you what I do is pretty much look at it for inspiration and then I'll go to the vintage design and I'll just replicate what I find here now I'm just gonna skip over here for a little bit and show you um, the one I like all the time the, the kind of the designs that I like and this one is um, called Shout Out. 
And so, as you can see here, when you get the shout out, you'll get this phrase right here. You'll get this topography. You'll get this look right here. But um, on the bottom here, if you see these one, two, three, four, five, and the dice, if you select them, each time you select them, it'll change the look of this phrase. So we'll push the dice, and we'll scroll it down so you can see it better. And then we'll push the dice again, and you can see it's changing. It's changing it for you every time. And so. Uh, maybe you like one of these, you know, maybe you want to make one of these. So um, you just keep selecting until you find it. So maybe that's the one you like. So that's easy to make. You can go to the vintage design. You can put in don't be and then maybe put a line and um, find some arrows and afraid of and being a beginner. And so these can help you uh, make designs, you know. So uh, what's, you know, all the holidays are that are coming up July 4th. Or, uh, you know, people say, what, have a happy fourth? Have a happy fourth, fourth of July. Fourth of July. You can, oops, yep, there it is. And so, there you go. And then you can even see what it looks like with colors. And so, um, this it'll give you more of an idea of what things will look like. And so then just go back to the style here and then you can flip through it and it'll show you different styles for it. Different ways. And we'll just go um, go back to white just so you can see it better. And um, we go back to style here. But again, it, this has all, all kinds of different topography, different ways that you can um, look through designs. And there are a ton of them. You can go through all of these if you want. It's not a problem. You can just go through and see what they want and you can kind of, you can mimic what they have here in vintage design. So that's what the vintage, um, that's what the Word Swag app does. And I, oh, also let me just add this one more thing. So say you, you found what you want and you want it for inspiration. You can just push the save key right here and it will save directly to your camera roll so you'll have it and you can look at it and you can go from there and you can use it and that's how I use the Word Swag app. The next app we're going to look at is called the Typorama app. Typorama. So we'll select transparent and then we'll select original size and um, then we'll just uh, we'll just leave it out here for the, for the example. So again, I use this, you're not, uh, if you read the license, you cannot use any of the fonts here, you cannot use anything from here, but you can, again, like I said, you can use it for inspiration, and when you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out how to place words, when I started, everything was just like down the middle and the center, it was, you know, it wasn't really appealing to people, you know, I mean, just the simple uh, look of this one, of, you know, double tap to edit text, you know, just that. That style right there is, you know, it looks awesome, you know. So the whole point is to see see this and use it for inspiration how we can make our designs in the Vintage app. Okay, but, you know, when we get to the Vintage app, we're going to make them great. You know, this is just giving us examples. We're going to make them a lot better once we get there. But, okay, so you start here. You'll look at the, um, it works just like the word swag. There are different categories here. So for this one, if you want to start just pushing this, uh, button down here the northern people and if you keep pushing it it'll keep switching it up for you and then you can go on to the next one it does it does the same thing and if you go here you switch over it does the same thing you'll go for this one great for posters you'll go to this one it doesn't have name uh, it says uh, Daniel I don't know what it says but it's changing it you know it's changing it for you and so um, you know, it's great when you make a design uh, for a holiday and you want to put it and make it look four or five different ways. You can do that and you can scale it that way. You can have the same design, but you can scale it to make it look different. So I always use this one. This one's kind of an example as just I, I, I always time every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's a good way I can. How do I add like a graphic to my uh, designs and how are people doing it? So sometimes I'll look on here and I'm like, okay, they're either putting it on the left side or the right side, and that's how they're making it look good.
So you can go for some like basic looks here, some crazy um, topography where they put it, the words in different places here. Um, rainy days. Um, you can see how people use banners. So you can flip through and um, so, so say you want to add a banner, you can just come over here and look and see how, how they place them and how they look. Um, here's another one that's more kind of like uh, italicized here. Here's another one that uses these banners. Let's see if I can find one with a banner here. There, there's a banner. It shows you how to use it. Let's see if we can make it bigger here. And so um, if you want to use banners, you can do that too. So this is just kind of showing you different ways of how to use this. And actually, I'm going to skip to the very back, and I'm going to show you the, the, my three or four of these, my favorite ones that I use with Typo Rama to get inspiration from. And I'll start with the last one here. This one is one of them. I mean, you can keep tapping through it and just get a great design. This one, this retro one, I really like this one. I really like using it. And so, let me see here. I'm just I'm using my phone. I'm tapping through. You're seeing exactly what I'm seeing on my phone. So, we'll go to this one. This is my other favorite one. Here it shows great topography and how you can make your designs. Um and then this last one over here. And so, I use these all the time. And here's some other ones just like a stacked one. Kind of just kind of shows you what you can do with um, your designs. You know how you how you can make them, how you can place them, and so it's great for inspiration. Again, this is the Typo Roma app. All right, let's talk about the Over app. So that is the yellow one right here. We're gonna select it, and then we're gonna talk about it. So um, if you go to the like I said in the Over app, this is a free app, and you can buy. Their subscription, they have a subscription, which I have never bought. I've always just used the the free part of it because I always just use it to resize all my images that I make in the vintage design. And so you can do that here. So when you push this plus button right here, um, you'll come to this screen right here. And right here at the very top, you can change your uh, the dimensions to 4500 by 5400, which is the merge dimensions. So... Uh, make sure you where it says constraint uh, proportions down here. Make you make sure you uncheck that button first. So the first one, the width is 4,500. Um, the height is 5,400, and then you just push the check mark right there. Then you're done. Then you have it right there. Um, that's what you can do with it. And so what you would do, you would go to like image upload. Um, remember that graphic that we selected earlier? We, um, say we selected and we wanted to bring it in here. I'm just going to show you some examples. And we're gonna, also going to use it in the vintage design because that's what I really want to get to. Is um, I'm going to show the cover. I'm going to show you what vintage design does. But then we're going to get into the to designing. But as here, say you um, just had a graphic right there. Pretty much all you you wanted to do if you're what you, I'm just showing you the features from here. Say that's the graphic you wanted, or say you didn't want a graphic. Um, you just delete that right there. And then, um, can you make designs in the overwrap? Yes, you can. And you can just put in the dimensions right there and push, um, you know, put your text in right here, whatever you want. Let's see here, happy, let me see here. Let me go here and pick one of these. Happy day. Happy day, all right, <laughs> I'm just joking. So yeah, see, you can select it right there and that could go on the t-shirt. You can um, send it right to your email and upload it right from your phone. And so, but I'm going to show you the steps how to make a great design and then put in the over app and then um, send it to your camera roll to be uploaded from your phone directly or to be sent to your email and uploaded on your computer at a later date or later on during the day. Um, but yeah, happy day right there. You can choose the colors. You can come down here. You can pick a color. Um, let me see here what else uh, this can do. It can do a lot of stuff that um, that the vintage design does. Pretty much, it almost does the exact same things, but not really. I love the vintage design. I think it can do way more than the overwrap, but um, mainly I use the overwrap for resizing. 
but just to show you some an overview of it um, so say you want it happy um, you come down here to the bottom and you can select um, textile you can scroll over here and push curve and you can curve this so you can put it up here make it curve or say you wanted to curve down below you can curve it like that it's up to you however you want it to however you want it um, and those are the main features that I use from it I use the color and I use the curve if I just want to make a simple text from here if I haven't used it but I, I usually 199% usually use the vintage app to make my designs and it's bringing to the over app to resize it and I, um, I'll show you some more features after we make our designs in the vintage design and then bring them back to the over app all right in this last part of this uh, part of this module I want to talk about uh, topography and so um, some inspiration and what you can do I know we showed you the word swag app where you can get topography inspiration we showed you the type of ramen but here's all you can do you can come just to Google and you can just type in great topography so all you need to do come type that in and then come up here to the images select the images and look you have tons and tons of ideas that people um, you know topography you know what people are doing you can just scroll down through here and if you like stuff you can um, you know you can kind of mimic and get ideas of how words are placed and um, you don't always have to um, go off of uh, um, the word swag or the topography or the type of rama you can come down here and find your own and that's how you can go about it it's really simple um, find something that you like something that you see maybe you see like a graphic with uh, some words and you want to put that together so maybe you go find your graphic and you put it together and I mean it just makes it that simple it just gives you more ideas to to use to, as you're scrolling through here and you're um, looking for some ideas that you might have because I think that's mainly the one thing we can always come up with the words but how do we place the words and how do we make it look great where people want to buy them so that's all you do and you just type in um, great topography in Google and just scroll down through here and that's another way how you can find some ideas alright let's get started let's get started with making these awesome designs okay so let's go to the vintage app here and then we will go to the plus button at the top right because we're gonna start a new design and then I always like to start with a black background so if we go to color we'll go to single color and then we'll scroll over here and we'll push the black okay so now we just need a topic I mean right now um, in sports baseball season is popular golf is popular um, so let's just choose one of those let's just start with how about uh, baseball so we'll come in here and it doesn't matter which font you select right away we will change that here in a second and I'm just gonna do all capital letters baseball and before when I when I would start um, I actually bought this font it's called Rockabye semi bold and so when I would make designs baseball designs I would pretty much just use that and all I would do would just put a curve on it you know I put a curve on it maybe I find a baseball to put in the middle and you know you know when I would find something else but that was it I was I was really simple really basic um, it wasn't until I found out I call I'm calling it the secret I think it's I think it's the graphic design secret because um, I had some a graphic designer and she was making me designs and uh, for promotional use and stuff and so I was looking at her designs and I'm like man there must be a way to, to do that and I actually like stumbled across and how to make it and I was like man I have to share this with everybody so all right we get with the baseball design and you can just have that I'm not saying that you can't just have just the plain clear baseball that's it you can't just have it but I would say you would buy this one or you would buy maybe something better and it's really simple so you just select baseball and then all you can do and I'm gonna leave it there with this simple font right here baseball and then you go to edit and then um, let's hear baseball and we go to edit and then we'll scroll over here on the bottom there's fine-tune reset curve distance outline shadow overlay opacity 
and then you can flip them, you know, left or right, and duplicate means you can, if you want a baseball in there twice, you just push duplicate, and it'll say baseball twice, like this. So, very simple. But I'm just going to show you the, the, the things that I use right here. So you'll push baseball, you push edit, and then you'll come over here to outline. Okay, baseball, I mean, I when I think of Major League, American, USA, so if you see their baseball, the Major League logo, it's red, white, and blue. So we're going to do, we'll do red, white, and blue. So we'll make this red, or first of all, we'll make the, we'll start off with it making red. So the main color will be red, and then since we already put that outline on it, you can already see the beginning of it. Um, it's making, put it right here, white. We'll select white, and then so you, you can make it however thick you want, and we'll leave it about right there. And so even already at this moment, it looks, you know, ten times better. But okay, and so I already knew that, but this is the next step here where it really brings it out so you select your word you push edit and then you just push shadow all right you see that shadow on it watch we're going to go to the blue color down here and let's just select this first blue and see the blue color back here this is where it kind of makes the cool 3d effect and down here at the bottom this tool right here makes it how if it's like more solid or if it's more kind of fuzzy looking and I don't use the fuzzy looking because I don't know how that's gonna print but it's always printed great if you leave it down here with the solid and then what you'll do is you can uh, maneuver it however the way you want even that looks great you know just leaving it like that but I like to try to get it you know I just mess around with it um, always push edit go back select shadow and you'll you can change it so you can do this. This is the way you can do it. So you can move it around and make it more like a 3D effect. Okay, so then there you go, right there. Just by doing those little two steps, adding the color and then changing the outline and then adding the um, shadow. There you go. That is how I've been making all these great designs. Okay, so you you see that. that That is one way you can you can make it okay but you see how the shadow on this one it's, it's just to the left and it's not really fully covering the whole word there's a there's a way you can do that and I'm gonna show you how so what you'll do is um, you'll how about we just keep it this way for now and then I'll show you that in the next video okay so we start here with baseball and so um, net you can come over here and you can push edit again oops you can push edit again and you can use um, you can go to let's see here go over here to oh, you have to select it and then you can go to the curve and you can curve it so you do baseball how about this I got it I got a, actually a, a great one we can do and we're going to do eat sleep baseball repeat so since you already have everything the word already made all you have to do is push baseball and then we'll come over here to the very edge and we will select duplicate so you can select duplicate we'll put that one that'll be this one and we'll say eat and what's neat about it is uh, you don't have to uh, change it it's already it's already done for you and then so eat sleep let's duplicate that And then we'll push change, eat, sleep, baseball, and then we'll put repeat down here. Double that one down there, change that. I always see these um, eat, sleep, repeat shirts all the time. And so, I mean, so it makes for a great one. There you go, eat, sleep, baseball, repeat. And you can go back in here and uh, mess with uh, mess with it again. You could change up the shadow, maybe on the sleep, make it more pop a little bit better, like it does on the other ones. Let's see here, we can do that also. And then there you go. Uh, and just make sure it's lined up right. And then here we go.
there you go. You got a great design just from just from there. It's that simple. It's that easy to do. Uh, that's all it takes. It's a it's a simple strategy that I wanted to teach you guys. And this is it. And this is what we're gonna continue to do. And I'll show you that other way you can do it. But right now, we took it from just really basic and really simple and is what you know I would only know because I'm I'm not a designer you know it was just by learning this trick this simple trick where you're you're able to make this great design so I mean but that's not all you can do you, you can do something else there's one more thing I want to add to it if you go to the um, decoration of this app it comes with all these royalty free um, little graphics you can use and in this one it says royalty free so I've been using these now the fonts like I said I don't use their fonts I always import the fonts so since we're doing a baseball one let's put a little swoosh on it you see the swoosh on here I always like to add it so we'll bring it over here and we will put it on the edge of repeat and we can put it just your phone right there, just mess with it, and let's get it a little better. And there you go. Now it looks like a great baseball design, a great baseball shirt, and I think it would look great on a shirt. Okay, so you got that. Um, let me show you the next step. I'll show you the next step from here. So you go here, you got your design, you're ready to go. You go here in the right hand corner and you'll select this button right here on the top right. Now it says export as PNG, export as JPEG, um, export back uh, without background and that's the one we want to do. So export without background. It'll come up like this again and then we're not going to, we're going to resize it in the over app. So in the top right corner we select that button again and we select save image. That image is going to be saved to our photo library. So that's what we're gonna do next okay so alright we got that we gotta to go to the over app alright let me delete this here how about we can start over from here alright so when we open the over app we'll come here we need to adjust this size right here 4500 remember to take off the constrained proportions like we talked about earlier and type in 5400 so you have that right there push the image button push the eat sleep baseball one and then there you go you can resize it because this is the size of the t-shirt now so it's up to you however you want to do it you remember um, it always shows up it always shows the there's a yellow line that pops up and it shows you where you want to put it in the middle but for these eat sleep shirts I always put them on the left hand side that's where I see typically where they're at most of the time and so I'll just make sure the baseball one is right there it's centered and there I go it's ready to be um, ready to be you know downloaded so here we'll push the right uh, up here on the top right the yellow check mark you select that and then you'll select it again the top right the yellow check mark the arrow you will select that right there you will push share and you'll scroll all the way to the right right here don't push save image don't do that come up here and push save PNG because that's what we want that's what uploads to merch and then that automatically uh, takes you that will save into your camera roll and then um, you can go to your merch by Amazon um, and then you can upload it directly just pick it out from your camera roll and upload it and that's it and you're done you just next need to fill out the t-shirts um, colors you know and upload it, you know with the price and the titles and everything and then you're done and then you upload it and you got your design already it's that fast all right, let's get into our design number two. So um, when I I'm going to start this off by um, I had a graphic designer and she made this graphic for me right here. Really good girl still. And man, I thought that was amazing. I was like, OK, I probably can't even make that. And so it wasn't until, you know, I figured it out. I was like, all right, you know, she made this on probably Illustrator or Adobe Illustrator where you're paying twenty dollars a month. Um, you know to get this so but I was like let me see if I can kind of mimic what she has already done and do it myself on the vintage app 
So let's go there. So that is her design right here on the bottom, and this is my design here on the top, right here. And you can see, hey, that's a really good, um, you know, that's a really good copy of it. You know, it's, it's kind of the same. Let's look at hers again. You know, I mean, my fonts are different, but I didn't have the same fonts as she did. But I was just trying to get, you know, I learned from uh, other people, just like I said, how we research um, to topography. You know, we, we look up and we see how it's done. So really, really good girls still. So we're going to make this today. We're going to make this one. So we're going to start with the fresh page and we'll go to color. We'll go to single color and we always pick black. And so we will start with the word uh, really. And we will go with, I think it was red. And it was kind of a cursive. So let me, let's see if we have any uh, cursive fonts in here. If not, we will have to get one. We, we could use this one. This one will, this one will work. So really. And so um, if we go back to look at it, it was, uh, we go to the edit button where the outline was a white outline. So we can make it a white outline. And then the shadow color was in red. So we'll select the red. We'll down here, remember, make sure to push it all the way to the left to make it solid. And then we will just make the shadow. So really, right there. Really good girls still. So, all right, so let's pick out another font. So really, and then we'll just pick good. I think it was all capitalized actually. And I think it was, let me, let's go back and check it out. It was in, uh, it was white and then with a red outline. Okay. So we'll go back there and we will, let me see here. It was white with the red outline. Now remember I said when you're using these uh, DCC fonts, you don't want them to use them because they have, you can see through them, they're distressed. So we need to pick a, a different font. A solid font, but um, one that will work. Try to go with a, a, thick, a thicker font. So I'm gonna scroll through here and see what we can find. Kind of like a bold, a bolder, a bold font, because we're trying to match it. That one, there we go. That one could be good. So we'll go here and we'll stick it right here. The only thing I wish it would be a little bit closer. How maybe this one? This one, this one works right here. So we'll go there and we'll make sure the um, the outline. We'll make it thicker. And then I haven't taught you guys this yet, but um, how it is on the design, they're really the Y and stuff. They're sticking, they're, they're above, um, they're in front of the, the word good. So all you have to do is that, it goes push really. And then at the very top here, you'll see the, it says deselect, but then you'll see these um, things that are where you can move the object to the front. Now it's all I did was push, moved up to the front and I moved it to the front like that. Okay, see. So really good girls and then so we're gonna make that one and we can we could probably use the same font that we did here so we'll push we'll select really we'll select the edit button we'll come all the way down here we'll put duplicate and then we will change the word to girls and then we will change the main color not red but it was yellow and actually um, if you remember over here, the very on the very far left of the colors, you can select that, and then RGB you could change that. And actually, we're going to change that to yellow. And so the really yellow color is FF FF zero zero. And so I just know that offhand because I've used it before. So it's yellow, and then the outline is white, which I think it is already. Nope, that's what we want. We select. 
we select it and then see here go to outline and the outline is we want it white so we got it white there and then the shadow we don't want any shadow on this one so we'll just select um, delete or trash so we'll go right there and actually I think the outline is red I'm sorry the outline was red so there we go there it is and if you don't like if you don't you know we don't like that we let's we could change up I kind of don't like that font to match. Let's get it. Let's select a different font, just because um, I think it'll look better if we find just a different font for it. We could use that one. We could use that one. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can use here. That one. Whoa! There we go. Maybe. Uh, let me see here. It's up to you. You know, when you're going through here, you have the choice. You have all these choices you can select from. So, I'm just going to get one if I can find it over here. Ooh, you could do that one. But actually, I like, I like the cursive part. Let's see if it's over here. Kind of want to be with little bit thicker mm, let me see here all right come on Joe all right right here this is the one I want to use we'll just use this one so a really good girl still and actually okay so if you see that in the that yellow line it makes it means it's in the center so then the second one still is actually the same font using this one so you just select edit again and then you'll scroll over and you'll select duplicate and then you'll come over here and you'll put steel here and actually I think it's all capitalized and then we will throw it behind so at the very top it says throw it behind it objects move backwards and so um, there you go you can mess with it and make it in the center and you can just put it right there where it still be red and then, um, actually, I was going to do all text, but I'm going to add in a, the softball. So I'll go to decorations. I have a softball already that I emailed to myself, and I uploaded it over here to the library. So let's grab that really quick. And then we can throw it down here, and actually we could put it behind. So let me see if here we will go behind. So we can go put it like right, put it right there. And then, um, so, all right, so there we go. There's our design right there. Really simple. And so let's, let's just go back and look at the original. This one is the original right here. That's the original design. All right, that's a great design. And I would never think I would be able to make that. So let's just go to our design here. This is our design right here. I think this would be a great design. Actually, for this girl's one here, let's, I want to make sure the outline, I want to kind of make it a little bit thicker. Right there. And then, there we go. That's another great design that you can upload. And you can play with it however you want. You know, if you want the words to be separated out a little bit more, if you, want, you don't want the girls to be covering both things, you know, um, it's up to you um, how however you would however you want it however you want to do it so I think that's a I make that to great design right there so all right that is design number two and let's do design number three next all right let's get into design number three okay so we um, imported a graphic which we did earlier which was this um, tiki distress mask okay so remember if you upload any graphic in here you could just change the color by touching it and picking at the bottom here and you can ch change its own color here also here's another quick tr uh, quick tip if you have um, a graphic here um, you could choose um, a gradient right here and you could change the color of it so if you wanted red or actually let's change it to if you wanted blue here blue and then we wanted maybe pink or red or whatever let's go down here actually yeah some pink there you go and then if you don't even if you don't want it that way 
you could move these colors around and you'll go up and down. You can go vertical like that. So let's let's just you know try something really simple like that. All right. So then you get it. Just click it and it'll go back to normal right there. All right. So we're gonna um, again. Let's pick our background, which we always pick is black, which I pick. You you can pick what whatever you want. So we'll pick a black background right there. All right, and then after we do that, and don't be afraid because the gradients show up great. I have a shirt that says Merch University, and it's all in gradient colors. Uh, it's so awesome, and, and it comes out great. So this one, we're just going to be, we're going to put Tiki Time. So um, we're going to select our font here. Go with Tiki. And um, let's see here. We can go with white. And I don't know if that's the font we're going to choose, but that's what we're going to start off with. We can go through here, select the font. Maybe we select like a, a cursive design. There's Tiki. All right, let's do maybe that one. Tiki. Okay, so Tiki, and then we'll do, um, maybe we'll do a blue, since it's blue here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put a blue outline. So we'll go down here at the bottom, push outline, and we'll go select blue. Put an outline on there. And then um, for our back, for our shadow, we will put, um, we'll make it maybe just a little bit thicker. We'll put another blue outline on the back of it here. And that's, that's starting to look okay. Maybe we can make our graphic a little smaller here. Or you know what we can do? We can always come over here to Tiki. We can turn them just with our thumbs here. And we can put them just like right there. And then let's just um, select it, go to Edit, and then go to Duplicate. Tiki and then um, Tiki Time. Come right there. And then we could change this one. We'll use um, select it. We'll change the outline to pink. And then we'll uh, change the shadow to pink also to match it there. And then we can um, play with it right there. And there you go. There's a very simple uh, graphic tea time. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be all crazy I mean you can even blow this up a little bit right here you know so you can kind of cover and so so there you can put it however you want you, know, you can make this smaller if you want it's up to you so there there's a quick simple design tiki time um, to show it to you right there and that's it that's it you got it for design number three there's a, a Tiki Time design. All right, let's go into design four. And uh, we are going to do like a little camping theme here. So we are going to go to um, decoration. I already emailed myself all the graphics. So go to photo. We'll select our tent. Put it right there. Um, we are going to select our uh, mountain. Got a mountain here we're going to select. And make sure I get that right here. Actually, let's make that <clears throat> let's make that kind of like a bluish color there. A blue colored mountain. Uh, maybe we can have a yellow tint, like off yellow tint here. We'll bring that to the front. And then uh, we're going to import uh, a sun. So we'll import our sun. Our sun, actually, maybe if our sun's uh, yellow, usually <clears throat> our sun could be any color, actually. It could be orange. We'll put orange right there. We'll send it to the back. Kind of right there. And then maybe our um, tent could be over here. 
And our tin could be any color. Tin could be green. It could be, um, let's make our background black like we always do. I didn't do it at the beginning because everything was uh, in black. So, but yeah, you can, maybe our tin could be just white. So there we go. Actually, it even can be, it could kind of, it could be wherever you want it. So we'll just keep it right there for now. All right. And then um, just to play around, we will uh, do our fonts and we will put in um, Camping Adventure. So let's see. So camping, maybe we could do it like this. <clears throat> and then um, let's so let's start designing from there. So camping, we'll use that, and then we will um, for our uh, outline. We could uh, just pick a color. Yeah, could be green. Could be gray <clears throat> and for our uh, shadow we could pick red make sure it's solid down here again it doesn't have to be um, it could be anything our outline could be any color could be there we go I kinda like that camping and then let's just uh, duplicate it down here. And then we'll put adventure down here. Camping adventure. And actually, we could probably pick a different font for here. Kind of like that camping adventure font right there, and then let's just we let's just change the colors. So our main color maybe it could be this orange, kind of like the um, the moon or the sun over there, and then our outline let's just go there. Our outline could just be um, plain. Let's see, not plain. Could be like that color right there. You know, like this. And then our um, our shadow could be the same color. Let's go find it right there. And actually, let's let's look for um, a different font for this one. Maybe something more bolder. There we go. I kind of like that. That looks that looks that looks really cool. Camping adventure. And then I want to add one more thing to it. I got a little campfire. I want to add in here. And it can be, it doesn't have to be that color, you can change it. Can change it to there. So there you go, right there, uh, camping adventure. Just something really basic, really simple to do. Um, doesn't have to be that hard. I mean, it's just up to you how, however you want to make it. So it's it's you know it's it's simple it's simple stuff and that looks great you know so i think you're getting you're getting a hang of it and um we'll do we'll do one more we'll do a beach bundle one here in a minute and so um so you can check that out and see what that looks like so all right let's get on to the next video all right let's get started on our last video of the day for our bundles here and we're all going to do a beach bundle we did a camping one earlier now let's do a beach one so uh go to the phone um I already uh, emailed them to myself, so this one is 
a seagull. So we'll put him over here. Um, we are going to look for, um, I believe this is a sailboat. Sailboat. And then we are going to do um, a palm tree. Which I don't know if I'm going to do the palm tree with the sailboat. I think I, I think I will. Um, maybe I actually I'm just going to do I'm just going to do the tree with the um, seagull. So let's go over here. Let's, let's just place our graphic where we want it. Sometimes if if it's your one of your graphics is too big, you gotta move the smaller one first. So I'll put that there. I will um, duplicate it because I want a couple of them, so like a little smaller ones, and one more probably, maybe like that or something. And then now we can mess with um, our tree here, our palm tree here. So we can have our palm tree here and um, let's just select maybe like, there you go, kind of like a turquoise color of palm tree. Now on the bottom there, I want to select, um, you, can, you can do like a, a scaling part to this one where you put different cities, different places. And let's choose, let me, let me see, maybe the first one, or we'll just do one. But I will pick, of course, Hawaii as that's the most, I think, tropical place. But I've been to Hawaii, so let's just pick Hawaii. So. Select Hawaii. Bring it down here in white. And um, let's just, we'll pick a different font, of course, as we always do. Um, maybe something cursive. Um, Find something fun, fun to do. So let me just scroll through here. And I think I already know which one I want. Let me just go down here for a second. Might be over here. Where is it? Oh, no, that's not it. I don't know which one I want. There we go. How about let's uh, no, not that one. I don't know. I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> How about this one? We'll do this one. Hawaii. Hawaii. I think. I think that's the one we want. Nope. Don't pick any ones with the the gradients on it. We want it to be solid. Let me see here. All right, let's just choose this one to, to go off of. And we will choose, how about a pink? I have it be pink back here, kind of like a hot pink color. And then a hot pink, and then we could choose um, for the outline, we will choose um, white. And then I'm going to do something that I said I was going to do the very first video, and that was make it um, where it covers in, instead of the over, not the overlay, but um, let's select it here. Instead of the shadow, we're going to we're going to do the shadow, but we're going to it's, I'm going to show you a different way to do it here. So we'll pick Hawaii, but let's duplicate this. So we'll go over here and we'll duplicate it. And so I just want the background to be that pink background. So I'm with this new one, I'm going to go here to the outline and I'm going to take that out. So it's going to be that uh, pink background. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to put shadow on this one, but I'm going to pick the, I'm going to go ahead and pick the, the same pink. And then I'm just going to make it um, thicker where it's really thick. And then I'm going to drag it behind it. So put it, Put it right there over it 
and then I'm going to put it, send it behind it. And then you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. It's up to you. Um, all right. And then if you'll see the effect, it kind of gives it more of like a, a 3D effect, but it, you know, like more, it covers the whole Hawaii design actually. So it um it looks better. Not that it looks better, but it gives it a different a different look than it um usually does just with the shadow. And so this is that's just something else you can do. I, I, you, we don't have to do that. We can just we could have left it um the regular way. So we could, you know, delete that. We could come down here and we could select um edit, you know, go back here to shadow and then you know just select it the way we've been doing it the whole time. Yeah, put it back on solid, and then um, there you go. You know, so it, it can work any way, it work however you would like it to work. And so, if if you don't like that way, if you want to change the font, um, you know, just change the font, and we can see what else it looks like. You know, that's one thing that's really neat about this program is that. When you do it one time, you don't have to keep redoing it over and over to test out um, what you want. You know, you can just keep doing it. You know, I'm doing it right here, right here on my phone with you. Uh, as you're watching, I'm just doing it. Actually, that looks really cool right there. And so you can add, you can just add to all these features here. So again, that's that graphic. Again, you could change it. You know, you can make it, you can make it blue, you can make it red. Um, again, you can put the gradient on it. So, um, if you want it purple, you know, purple and, you know, you can just kind of scroll through here and find the color that you want. And it can work that way. There you go. You can you can change it up however however you like. So and then even even remember that if you don't want it to say that you can just you know pick it what you want it to say. You know maybe you just want to say Oahu. You know. So so there you I've taught you pretty much everything I know to make way better designs than you have before. You know just making simple designs. Now you can make designs that actually like look like a professional graphic designer made these designs. And so um, next I'm going to talk about where we can get some graphics and you know help you more um, where you can find these. And so that'll be our next videos coming up. All right um, right now I'm going to talk about websites I use to get my um, graphics from. And there are about three places that I use and the first one that I want to talk about is called Storyblocks. Storyblocks.com and I actually have a subscription here and I paid I think I believe $150 for one year and so it works great you can grab these um, you can come over here and these are just their infographics but as you can see there are plenty of things that you can come in here and grab and you can use there's a uh, POD files for them I mean not POD files there are uh, PNG files you can grab there are the um, EPS files you can use. Um, there are a lot of things that you can use to grab for these. Um, another place that um, you could go is uh, Make Merch. I don't know if you have a Make Merch account, but if you do, you can grab. You can come over here and grab some of their, grab some of their graphics that they use. All you would have to do is come over here, select it, um, come down here to download. Um, and then all you would have to do after you downloaded it is um, it would save it as a PNG. You would just email that PNG to yourself 
and then you can upload it right away and it's very simple and one more that I use a lot is called creativemarket.com and so creative market um, they actually give you six free designs all the time and so but you can come in here and type in whatever you want Halloween maybe you're looking for Halloween uh, clip art so you can come here and you have all these choices that you can choose from and so there's gonna be a lot of them and you'll just go down here and read them and they have you just read their own standard license and extended license I believe if you have the um, if you have the uh, standard license if you use a, a graphic you can sell it up to 500 times so if you have a shirt that sells over 500 times then you have to get the um, then you have to get the uh, extended one so there's a lot of things you can come up come up here you can go just go to graphics you can go to illustrations um, and then you can just type in whatever you want you know you can type in summer summer graphics and then it will come up here and it will show you all these summer graphics here you know maybe you want to make some designs about these treats over here so I mean so you just buy you can buy this for eleven dollars and then you can use um, a couple of these graphics in different designs and then just upload them put them in your like how I've taught you throughout this whole course just put them in vintage design and there you go it's that simple it's all you have to do all right there's one thing I want to cover and I know how we after we use vintage design and we exported it and we changed the resizing into the over app um, I know a lot of people sometimes they might want to use their iPad and sometimes I've heard of this where people couldn't upload the they couldn't upload or download the over app so here's just a little quick thing you can do if you can't get the over app to work to resize your images you can open up this free software which is photop.com p-h-o-t-o-p-e-a.com open it up you'll and then as soon as you get here all you do is go to file and you go to open and you go find your design and it'll call it'll come up right here so this is the one we just made um, this Oahu one so all you do um, you just leave it like that it's not the right size right here but all you do is go to file you go to export as and you go to export as PNG because um, that is the file size that we want and then right here um, you can change the width and the height so you just come down here go to type in 4500 and then you know type in um, 5400 so it just takes a second to um, select the 4500 I think it's just formatting it and then in a second we'll be able to change the height to 5400 so just in case um, you're having trouble um, with the over app but the over app does not work for you but it, if you're just doing it on your phone if you have a, uh, a new iPhone it should work no problem I have an iPhone SE and it works perfect so then all, all you do here is go to save and then it will save it for you and you can upload then you can you know go to merch and you can upload it there and it'll be it's that simple so that's what you need to do only if um, you cannot get the over app to work thank you all right welcome to the bonus the bonus is I'm gonna show you how I usually upload my shirts my designs to my own merch account so uh, remember we made the eat sleep baseball repeat um, I selected these colors I selected um, Heather gray which sells for me pretty good um, black navy always sells uh, royal blue sells for me and um, asphalt I thought those those colors suit um, pretty much sell for me I also selected youth and the price I just usually keep around $19.99 that's a good price to start off with but you know you can fluctuate with the price it just uh, depends on what you want to do you might notice all this stuff up here if you're doing scale design I really highly recommend the merch buddy because it's really simple but okay to get on here to uh, to start off with the brand name um, I always just select something that has to do with the niche that we're in so baseball so you could do just something simple baseball season um, clothing you know something really simple baseball um, uh, season shirts you know or you could do apparel you know you you can check and make sure everything um, that's the right brand you know and make sure because some people if you just did baseball shirts I'm sure thousands of people are, are doing that 
So, um, and then the title, I always just put what the title is. Eat, I always put what the title is on my shirt. Eat, sleep, baseball, repeat. And then I always put t-shirt at the end of it. I always do that. And then um, the key product features, I always use um, kind of like who's it for, you know, who, what, why, where, when, you know, you always hear that. And that actually helps great because it helps you format um, your bullet points into sentences. So like get this uh, baseball um, design for um, any baseball player, you know, <laughs> um, and then you could say like, this uh, baseball uh, or this uh, shirt, this shirt will make a great gift um, for any player. You know, something like that. You can find keywords, more keywords to add to it to make it better. Then uh, I always grab the title again. I copy that. And then I paste it down here into my bullet points just because I think maybe that merch sees it more so they know that that's like one of the main topics. And so people can find it there. Then all I do for the description, I highlight my bullet points, what I make. I highlight them down here for the description. And then I just highlight, I highlight all of them down here. And I just place them down here because um, as we've always heard since I started, is this is the description is more for what um, Google uses. So I'll, I'll save the selection and then I will go and then it'll be ready to be uploaded. So there we go. You can kind of check over it, make sure everything looks good, and then you can submit it. So we're going to submit this. All right, let's go on to our next one, which was the Tiki Time one. So we'll save the selection. Um, Tiki time, you can see that it looks great. Um, come down here, and I always, I always kind of choose some dark colors since um, I got really bright colors on here. So maybe here, some black. I was going to do purple, but no, it doesn't look good. Some navy. Um, dark color doesn't look really well with it. Um, brown, maybe brown. Uh, this slate looks really good with it. And um, let's see what else we can do. If you can't find, um, if you can't find five colors, just pick four. Just pick four. I remember um, a while back, probably when the first year of Merch came out, maybe the second year, Merch came out with their own webinar, and it's only been one ever since then. And they were saying when they first started, they could select between twenty colors. But they found out through customer research that it's better just to pick between three and five colors. So if you can only pick three, that'll give the, uh, the customer an easier decision to buy your shirt. So here you can put in, uh, actually you can put in maybe Hawaii Tiki Clothing. And then you can just put in uh, Tiki Time. Tiki Time shirts, or Tiki Time maybe Hawaiian shirts. And the whole thing is when you're trying to come up with keywords, you want to maybe come up with the singular, but maybe also come up with maybe like the pronoun or like uh, Hawaii or Hawaiian or if it's, you know, shirt, come up with shirts, you know, whatever that keyword might be. So player or players or baseball or, you know, come up with something extra to get that other keyword that think what other people are searching for one time I was searching for my shirt say I searched um, Tiki time um, Hawaiian shirts but it wasn't um, I couldn't find it but after I put in maybe say I selected uh, pineapple in my 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 say me say, say maybe in my keywords it said it had the word pineapple in there so when I typed in like pineapple Hawaiian shirts, my tiki shirt would pop up. So that's what kind of how um, you have to play with with bullet points and stuff and keywords. So you can say get this um, tiki uh, tropical um, Hawaiian uh, 
shirt, <laughs> you know, uh, get this, oh no, Hawaiian, um, how about island? Island design, how about that? I like that. And then you can put uh, also get uh, this shirt um, will make a great birthday gift. If you see a lot of the designs that are selling, um, a lot of them have like birthday gift. And I know a lot of people put Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day. I don't do that. I, I want to make sure it's in a sentence. But, you know, I see a lot of, um, if you look at a lot of uh, keywords that you're looking for, actually you can go directly to Amazon and type in Tiki. And Tiki, you know, and let me see here, Amazon.com. Um, we'll just do it right now. And so, you know, maybe you could type in Tiki and hit, kind of see what comes up. Tiki shirts. Tiki shirts for men. Tiki shirts for dogs. Tiki shirts for men button up. So Tiki shirts for men. So you could actually put that in your listing. So you could come back over here and put, um, you know, this shirt makes a great birthday gift. Um, maybe for men who like tiki's, who for her men who like tiki, tiki's. Maybe we could do tiki's. And then again, I get always copy the title, and I always post it here. And then uh, again, I just copy and paste, copy and paste my um, bullet points. And then I will save my selection. And there you go. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this course. And I hope it um, improves your designs. And please email me at uh, merchuniversity at gmail.com if you have any questions, if you need any extra help. Um, hopefully, I'll, I can add some more to this course, add some more videos. But I hope that you will make some great designs um, with all the stuff that was shared here. And um, thank you for uh, getting the course today. My dreams are big, my dreams are large, hope not to God, cause he